Yeah, 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 this your boy Drummer, man. You already know what's happening. D Boy Fresh, Drum Squad. You watching Hip Hop Wire. You already know what time it is. M Town, A Town. Hey, yeah, boy. First of all, man, I think I might be one of the first people to actually you put your name in print. Mm -hmm. I used to be at the source. Hey, first, hey, stop it, though. Okay, let me go. So we going back like seven years ago on the Double Dose album with Teela and, yeah, yeah, and the yeah. Pimpin' Joint. Yeah. So my thing is, a lot of people think it's an overnight success, but really you got to grind to where you got it, to where you at to this point right now. Can you speak on that a little bit? Because a lot of people think if it don't come in next year, it's over with. We looking at you like damn near eight years in, and now you finally getting your just due. Right, I mean, everything that you do is a grind, it's a process, it's, it's procedures to get into a certain point, you know what I mean, it's stepping stones, it's like a pyramid, if you build this great pyramid, like you're not going to start from the top of the pyramid to the bottom, like your bottom is going to be your biggest foundation, so that was my first year, just laying the groundwork, you know what I'm saying, and then I worked my way up and start forming my empire, you know what I mean, and by the time we get to the top, only so few can 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 stand at that, that, that very tip top of that pyramid. So, you know what I mean? That's that's like the best way I can explain it. Like, it's just a grind and I do what I love and make music however it come to me. Okay. However it birth, you know what I mean? So Tila was like some of the some of the real cats that came to the table as far as major. You know what I mean? Jay Prince, Red Boy, the whole rap a lot movement. You know what I mean? It was like we need some some heat. My brother had already been producing. My older brother and Saint Wayne was doing some beats for him. So I mean, it was just you know what I mean. I had heat on deck, and and I did a hook. I, I remember singing this hook called Tennessee Titans. Yep. You know what I mean? So Yo Gotti. I've been on hooks and you know what I mean, putting masterpieces together. And y'all gonna hear me more often. You know what I mean? We back on the mic. You know what I mean? Real tough. So it's just a blessing, man. I saw you was actually gonna start rhyming, and you just picked, picked mention that again, man. What can we expect that, and what you gonna be coming with? I mean, I just dropped a mixtape, you know what I mean, last year uh, called "Welcome to My City." You know what I mean? I sprinkled a couple verses on there, but it was primarily to get my artists out in the brand, you know what I mean, the label, and let y'all know we got a lot of music that we coming with. And that was just really like a mixtape. We did a couple videos off the mixtape. One, uh, "Welcome to My City." Uh, we did an AO video. We did a uh, "This Girl" video. This girl. Like, I got like 6.5 million uh, viewers and it was posted like November 2nd, 2009. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? On World Star. So you can go look it up, check it out. You know what I mean? Let me know what you think. You know what I mean? For sure. Okay. Plenty more, plenty more new music coming though to answer the question. Plenty more new music. You know what I mean? Just stay tuned. So you spoke about having a, a solid beginning, you know, a few seconds ago. How exactly has your, uh, you know, you, you come from a musical family, of course, you know, said your brother did beats, uh, you know, you was in the, the band back in the day, yeah. so, you know, that's as much respect. Sure. How did, how does that come together to make you who you are? I mean, it's all music, man, and it's all about doing what you love. It's real simple, you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't nothing, you know what I mean, too major, like whether I was having these cameras in my faces and getting the money and the fame and all of that or not. Like, I'd still be in the same room making music and doing me, you know what I mean? That's that's what make you like me, because I make music that I like, you know what I mean? I make beats that, that, that satisfy me and myself. Which is a whole genre of music. I came up on the orchestra, I came up on the opera, you know what I'm saying? We got the blues in the city, WC Handy, Willie Nix, you know what I'm saying? We on even on, on the Motown, Lamont Doja, and you know what I mean, just so many styles of quote unquote pimping and, and just oldies but goodies, you know what I mean? We had Ann Pep uh Peebles come out of um Stacks, Isaac Hayes, you know what I'm saying? Elvis Presley, so many greats that was in my living room, you know what I'm saying? Like my mama cool with these people, so it's just in, in the blood, you know what I mean? I grew up around instruments, you know what I mean? And just being able to identify whatever instrument, like that's an oboe or that's a clarinet or that's a bassoon or that's a, you know what I mean, a cello or the viola, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just fun for me to, any anything that I hear as far as music, it's inspirational for me, so it's just easy. It's, it's like second nature, man. It's what I do. A lot of people talk about... Um, the musicality they, they want to consider a lot of hip hop producers beat makers but you actually are a producer can you talk about using live instrumentation and stuff in your beats man I mean using live instrumentation just, just brings a whole different feel to you know what I'm saying a track 
and it, and it makes it more, you know what I mean, eventful. It makes it uh, more creative, you know what I'm saying? And it brings a certain sound that I'm known to, you know what I mean? I, like I said, I grew up around live instruments and I started playing orchestral music before I was even doing anything in the hip hop or beats or whatever. So, you know what I mean? I was reading Bach, Sebastian, and Beethoven, and Mozart, and you know what I mean? Whoever, you know what I mean? So, coming from that and saying like, I got, I got so great at just playing orchestral music that I was like, this is boring to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm playing somebody else's music. I'm playing what somebody else wrote. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me take what I know and take it to the street. Let me take what I know and take it to country. Let me take what I know and take it to hip hop. Let me take what I know and take it to R&B. And that's what we just started off. I started off with the rap because these are the people that I know. I'm in the street. I know Yo Gotti, I'm in the street, I know Player Fly, I'm in the street, I know A Ball MJG. I come to Atlanta, first people I meet, Pastor Troy, you know what I'm saying, Jody Breeze, you know what I mean, Jeezy, you know what I'm saying, so, cause I'm in the street, I'm on the grind, like you gotta start off on your grind in these trenches and taking what you can get, cause I know I got great music for a lot of other unreachable artists, but you gotta touch those who you can reach, you know what I'm saying, so this is how we start off, and you just gotta stay tuned, man, drummer boy. Yeah, 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 this your boy Drama, man. You already know what's happening. D-Boy Fresh, Drum Squad, watching Hip Hop Wide. You already know what time it is. M-Town, A-Town, A-Yeah, boy.